Hello and welcome into my attic. So in this video I'll be showing you uh, two planters that I thrifted from the fifth market. This first one here, I think it's a candy dish actually without the lid and I paid two euros for this. Um, and I painted it black. So mm, I'm not sure if I'd done a good job or if I made it look worse. <laughs> so you be the judge. This one here is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I didn't paint it. I just put a matte sealer on it uh, to get rid of the shine, the ceramic shine, which I didn't like. Uh, but other than that, it's absolutely perfect. And this I paid three euros. So before painting this candy dish, I took out my gummy clay, which as you may know, um, when it dries, it hardens and because it tightens up. Um, so I took that because I didn't have any other color, but it's perfectly fine this color because I'm painting it black, so it covers really well. And I just um, got out one of my molds and took a mold um, casting and just stuck that on the front. By the way guys, look how I took the clay out of the mould. Uh, I had a bit of trouble getting it out because it was very tight and the clay was pretty soft so it just kept squashing. So I thought I'd use <laughs> double sided sticky tape and it actually worked. I stuck it down and whipped it out really fast and to my surprise <laughs> it came out. However. Every time I tried it again, um, I must say though, I did use the same uh, tape. I should have maybe got a new piece. Um, when I tried to use it again, it wouldn't work. But maybe if you change the tape, you know, get a new piece of tape, maybe it will work all the time. I didn't try it. I just had this piece and tried it with that and it worked the once really well. Uh, but after that, nothing. So... Amazingly, it came off of the tape very easily. That was a good thing, so I didn't have to squash it and ruin it. Um, and then I just stuck it down with my normal white wood glue. As you can see, this mold is a keyhole. Um, I didn't have any other molds uh, this kind of shape. I, I wanted something long and shapely like this. This is all I had. So, you know, I used that. You've got to use your imagination sometimes, unfortunately. So I dabbed on my paint, which you can actually see, it isn't actually black, it's more of a gunmetal grey. Um, so I dabbed that on and I did add a little bit of cornstarch and wood glue to the acrylic paint here and water. Um, otherwise, you know, it wouldn't stick to the ceramic if I didn't add those ingredients. So I did a couple of coats of that and it did dry darker, like almost black. So I went over the whole thing with brown antiquing wax and it gave it a brown tint, which made it look quite interesting, I thought. I then hot glued in some floral sponge. I then glued in a couple of types of moss. Then I just proceeded to hot glue in various types of faux plants. And 
two wooden butterflies. I must buy some more of these because they look really nice in floral arrangements. So that's it guys, that's my floral planter candy dish. Uh, I think any colour would look nice really. Um, I did it in black, what do you think? Okay guys, so as mentioned before, this planter here, I didn't paint it. I just covered it in a matte medium. And here's the recipe. So I dabbed this medium all on the outside. I didn't do the inside because I'm going to cover that up anyway. But yeah, this um, matte medium here, um, you know, it's so cheap to make, uh, but it really elevates the look of the piece. It really makes it look higher end and so much more of a higher quality. Yeah, so I just dried it off quickly with the hairdryer and it, dries almost instantly. Yeah, that looks gorgeous, I think. So here's the end result, guys, and I think it looks so nice. Um, I decorated this in the same kind of way as I did the other one, uh, just by adding the floral foam, different types of, of moss, and just faux flowers, obviously. These are different, but of course you can put anything you want. So, well, anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye.